Go down to Rick Reichmuth, who <laughs> joins us. I think he's outside now that it's Thanksgiving time over your house. Get ready for Christmas, Rick. That's exactly it. It happened very quickly, especially with that late Thanksgiving this year. So what could be uh, your plans for your Christmas tree? And what could be more important than per picking the perfect tree? But how do you even really know what to choose? Marty Jamison of the American Christmas Tree Association is here to break it all down for us. Marty, thank you very much. Big things. I, everybody, when I was a kid, you just got a, an, a real tree That's right. and put it in your house. That's right. But artificial trees are becoming more and more popular and more and more advanced. Yeah, we've done a survey. 83% of U.S. households now have an artificial tree, and 23% get the real tree. And I know that adds up to more than 100. That's because 6% get one of each. Get more than one yeah. tree. I, my mom, there's like. 14 trees in the house yep. all over the place. Yep. So start with this one right here. Yeah, well, this is a lovely one. This is from Balsam Hill. Most designers think this is the most realistic tree. It's very botanically correct. But in most households, you're going to help me here. Okay. Lift the top off. Pull it apart. Just look. Okay, the lights went out. Most households, the big argument is the Christmas lights, they're a pain in the neck. Not anymore. These just insert. Watch this. Stick it in, and presto, the lights just pop on. How do, cool are the is lights that? built into the tree They're already? They're built or do you in. To... No, and it has memory wire, so when you pop it out of the box after a year, it comes right back the way you left it. I memory love it. Memory wire. That is amazing. I know. Already lit. Isn't that awesome? I love that. That and getting those lights off is what the you problem don't have is. To it's do not that putting them on. It's getting them off. And they last forever, longer than you, you or I will last. Right. Okay. So right. what is this? This, this is, is a, this is a fun tree. Now you say you don't have enough space for a tree. Your yeah, problem I, is my solved. apartment is like 400 square feet. Well, you know what? You have room for the stiletto tree, don't you? It's from Tree Topia. It's adorable. It's it's black, which is kind of like why black? But it looks like a little black dress. It just pops the ornaments off. Very chic. Is Love that, that part of what happens in trends in trees that they change colors? We have different color trees. This one's from Tree Topia. They have pink. I have a pink tree. Um, they have white. They have different colors. It's really fun. Okay, this tree this looks weird because it's only tree. a half a tree. I know. Isn't that a riot? So you put it up against the wall, no one will ever know you don't have enough real estate to have a full tree. But here you have it from Tree Classics. Isn't that great? That's kind of brilliant. Okay. All right, so the last one is one the One in four tree. households gets a real tree. This is Mr. Tradition. This is, you know, here's the trick, though. The trick is you have to buy it fresh, and you don't know. So bend the leaves. See, if it doesn't snap, you're on your on the right you're track. Good. Some of them sit on the lot for weeks, and then they die in your home, and it's a mess. And then you know. So a fresh cut tree is really the way to go. If you can go down and saw your own, it'll last. Make that extra cut. Add lots of water. Check to make sure the bristles don't come off yeah. in your hand. This is pretty fresh. That is fresh. awesome. That is a great, yep. a great tip right there. Yep. All right, you're going to come back next. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll talk, about, talk decorating. about the latest in you bet. decorating trees. Guys, we'll send it back to you inside. All right, thanks, Rick. All right, thank great. you, Rick. Bye,